Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. This is my first official theory video talking about the new season, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. So, as you guys know, The Flash is not coming back until 2021. However, they're going to be filming very, very soon, whenever they can go back, they're going to be filming, so don't worry about the Flash videos, the Flash videos are going to be continuing all the way through. We just have to wait a little longer than October like we normally do, because there's normally always a break and we always continue making videos over the summer and everything. It's just going to be a bit longer, but we'll see filming very, very soon once things start to go back to normal. So no worries about the videos. Anyway, so without further ado, let's get into today's video. So this is a theory and I could be completely wrong, but I feel very strongly about this and I'm very excited to share it with you guys today. Well, I heard some people online talking about this, but I don't think there's been that many videos on this on my theory that I'm going to be going over. So I'm very excited to share it with you because I don't think it's that popular as of right now. It may become more popular once more people start to cover this because I think this theory makes really good sense. So let's start with this. At the end of last season, Carver was killed. He is the head of Black Hole. He was killed by Eva, who is going to be around. I reckon she's going to be around for a few episodes next season, and then she'll be defeated. And so at this point, right at the end of the season, it's unknown if Black Hole still remains operational without Carver and with him being dead. And so that's where the theory kind of starts off, because if you remember Carver in last episode, he was sitting with a guy who works for Black Hole, and remember that guy is still around, he's not dead, and there are other members of Black Hole out there, we've only seen like a minimal sort of portion of them, and I'm pretty sure they protected their assets after Eva's attacks, you know, with her blowing up his factory, with all of his documents on everyone and everything like that, so I'm pretty sure Black Hole is still operational behind the scenes, and that's what this theory is sort of based on, and so what happens if Carver wasn't the real leader of Black Hole after all, and he was just the guy we saw, because in the comics, the leader of Black Hole is revealed to be a villain, or he turns into a villain, he's called Ragin, and I think that's how you say his name, that's how I'm saying it for now, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments down below, but he appeared in the Flash Rebirth issue number 35, and so it's revealed to Barry that he is the leader of Black Hole, and he is a self-proclaimed god of lightning, as he says in the comics, and so he works with Carver in the comics, and so what happens if there is that twist, and next season we continue with Black Hole, but it's not this version of Black Hole we've seen before, it's the real leader of Black Hole. Okay, so also linking to this and what happened last season and why this kind of makes sense if you add up all the dots of what's happened and the lingering mysteries that were left this season, Godspeed, we still got that mystery. And Godspeed is linked in the comics to Black Hole because the Speed Force Storm created him, it gave him speed, it gave August Heart the power that he had, and he eventually became Godspeed like pretty damn quickly. And so there is that link. Also the fact that this mystery to do with Godspeed and who's sending these clones back in the past or wherever this real Godspeed or the real person controlling them is. You would assume they would be all powerful because they are number one able to create the clones, they are able to give them speed force powers, their speedsters, and also the fact that they have so many of them that they keep on sending back. I think that was the fifth god speed. So let's bring this back to the theory about Ragin being the villain for next season, and so yeah, that is the theory. Ragin is going to be the villain for next season, for season seven of The Flash, and so this is a bit about him in the comics. So he wears super powered armor, gives him the ability to manipulate electricity, and he's not actually a speedster. However, he can still travel through lightning, which basically makes him as fast as a flash. So he technically, in a weird way, he is a speedster. So that would make sense as to how he can control these clones of Godspeed. And, you know, if he was to actually come, that would make a lot of sense. And so Ragin is also in the comics responsible for creating the Speed Force Storm that created Godspeed in the comics. So the links are really too obvious, I think. You've got this mystery of who is controlling and sending back these clones of Godspeed. You've got Black Hole still out there, potentially operational. It seems to all be adding up and sort of lining up to be potentially Ragin, I think. There's a very high chance it could be him. And so in the comics, Ragin's advanced armor indicates that he has knowledge of sort of robotics and he is very smart and he can make all of this tech. So he also has this connection to the Speed Force because he created that Speed Force Storm as a test. 
that created Godspeed and then, you know, he planned to do more of this. And so he has this mysterious connection with the Speed Force, even though he's not technically a speedster. And so it would explain how he would be able to create copies of Godspeed if he's the actual person sending those clones. Also another benefit, like if he actually shows up, is the fact that in the comics he hasn't been unmasked yet, so we don't know who is under that suit of armor. And yes, it's a bit like Savitar, but still, it's going to look different, they're not going to make it exactly like Savitar. So I think it's really interesting that the villain would definitely be a mystery, and we haven't had that in a long while, so the show in Season 7 could use it as an ongoing mystery. The fact that he wears this fully armoured suit, and his identity is still sealed, and you know, it's a bit more like the past seasons with Reverse Flash, Zoom, or Savitar. So with all of this, this is, you know, the big chunk of the whole theory, is the fact that, you know, I think there is a really, really high possibility that he could be the one sort of orchestrating all of this, and especially the fact that what Godspeed said in last episode, you know, about we, and in the comics, Ragen is a leader of a we, of a organization with more than one person, and the fact that there's all these clones, and he's so interested in velocity, he's so interested in electricity because he creates that suit, and he's able to manipulate electricity, you know, basically making him as fast as the Flash. So it would make sense that if it was him, he would want that velocity. He would want to actually be a speedster like he has created these clones. And if he, say, did create a Speed Force Storm in the Arrowverse, I'm talking mainly about the comics, about what happened, and he was able to give these powers to Godspeed, it seems like it's a possibility that he wasn't able to give it to himself, and that's why he's created all these clones. That's why he wants all the velocity, like those Godspeed clones said. Potentially, he thinks he deserves it if he's created all of this and this is what he aspires to be. So it would make a lot of sense if the villain actually turned out to be Raijin. Obviously, the main villain for the season could be someone completely different. Maybe they don't hone in on the Godspeed mystery that much. I would love them to. I think that's the best way to go. To find out, you know, maybe the actual main villain of the season is the person controlling those Godspeed clones would be amazing. But potentially they might go another route and that's just like a side story because really what they've done with Godspeed in the past hasn't been anything too interesting apart from this recent episode where we set up this mystery because before then it was just like, oh, Godspeed's popping up, you know, he's coming back. Oh, he's coming back again. Oh, he's coming back again. And this time they actually set up something a bit more meaningful. And I think it would be great if they go down that storyline. But again, could be someone completely different. Lots of people have been theorizing about Red Death coming. I was theorizing about that for, you know, a year or so because they teased it in that episode in season five. And it seemed likely that they were potentially going ahead with that. I mean, that could be any season, to be honest. It doesn't have to be this season or next or anything like that. I think right now it just makes sense if it's Raijin or with the synopsis that they released recently. It would also make sense to be Cobalt Blue as well, so I would say those two are our best picks as of right now. But as to Red Death, people have been theorizing about this, and this is due to the fact that, number one, we can't really get Batman. Yes, they just revealed Bruce Wayne on Batwoman. However, they're not going to just get a Bruce Wayne to make him not Batman or to make him not Bruce Wayne to make him, you know, a speedster villain, to make him Red Death. So I think it makes more sense if they would mix blood work and make him a speedster. So also there was that teaser with blood work, the fact that he is playing the long game, he's going to return. That's why lots of people are theorizing that he could be Red Death next season and he could be the main villain. I just don't think it's that likely. I think when blood work is going to come back, he's just going to be like a villain that pops up every now and again once he gets out of Argus, probably breaks out or something. But I think the idea of Red Death is super interesting. I think he's going to appear at one point in the show. But I don't think it's going to be right now. Just to finish this video, one more theory that lots of people have been talking about is the fact that Reverse Flash is out there. You remember his lightning sort of struck into the air. I think he's still out there in the atmosphere. He just needs a body. And so lots of people were theorizing he's going to take over like Bloodworks body and that's going to be Red Death or he can take over like a Godspeed and you know he would be Godspeed and maybe he is the one sending back those clones. So that was another theory lots of people have been talking about but I would say this Rajan theory is very good so let me know what are your opinions. Who do you think is going to be the main villain for next season? Do you think this is remotely right? Do you disagree? Do you think it's going to be Cobalt Blue? Do you think it's going to have something to do with Red Death or Reverse Flash? So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy room. 